G'day mate, who are you? Why I'm Frederick Griffith, of course. Call me Fred for short. Well my name is Buzz, your bog standard 3000 robot from the future. I got a joke for you. What did the biologist wear to the party? Designer jeans. Get it? Ha ha ha. Very funny. Now on to the more serious business. What are you doing here? I'm here to teach you and the kids at home about my DNA experiment. Go on then tell us more. I conducted the experiment in 1928 using the pneumonia bacteria along with mice. Wow. That's a long time mate. In my experiment I used two different strains of streptococcus pneumonia. The first strain was smooth which meant that it had a polysaccharide coating so under the microscope the bacterium looked smooth. The other was a rough strain which didn't have the coating so it looked rough under the microscope. Then what did you do? I injected a live S strain into the mice. The mouse soon then contracted pneumonia and died. Don't worry folks, no mice were harmed during the making of this video. I then injected the live R strain into the mice. As I predicted it didn't get sick and lived. Yeah. A survivor. Not quite. I then knew that the polysaccharide coating on the bacteria may have caused the illness, and that polysaccharides are not affected by heat. Wait for it. I used heat to kill some of the S strain bacteria, and then injected the dead bacteria into the mice. But this failed to kill the mice. Which indicated to me that the polysaccharide coating was not what cures the infection but it was something living deep inside the cell itself. Well Fred here had used heat to kill the bacteria and we know that heat denatures the protein. So then Fred predicted that some of the protein within the living cells had been denatured by the heat causing the disease. However I then injected another group of mice with heat killed S strain and live R strain. A good mixture of the two different strains. Unfortunately the mice died. Griffith concluded from this that the live R strain surely had absorbed genetic material from the dead S strain bacteria. We also know that heat denatures any protein, so the protein in the bacterial chromosomes wasn't the genetic material. From this experiment I can conclude that DNA is really genetic material. Thank you for watching this video. We hoped you enjoyed it.